something broke. Oh, great. It officially broke. Oh, great. In a hell camp right now, uh, driving to Redline Power Sports, and uh, I got some interesting news. I don't want to tell everything until I get there because I just got a kind of got a summary from the service manager there. So, uh, it looks like when the prop exploded, broke in half, uh, it moved around the shaft. Then what happened? It's just pure amazing. No joke that the thing didn't sink. Like I said, and you, you saw in the video, I popped the seat, I started hearing the sound of water and I quickly put the seat on and got my uh, waterproof bag ready, thinking I was gonna bail. Well, it looks like from the sound of it, I just gotta know everything before we get all, like what it's all about, but uh, there's, they checked the engine because I want to make sure, you know, like the compression's fine and all that. And from the shaft coming in, which goes with the prop, if you're not really familiar with this, I really want to make it real basic because not everybody's an, uh, jet ski expert and there's, uh, water in the engine. So yeah, this really sucks. Uh, I got a hull that's cracked. I got water in the engine. Um, you know, they... With going through my insurance, you know, I can't do all this myself. I have to have, you know, a whole quote of everything, what it's gonna cost. You can't just show your own quote. We're like, hey, can, this is what it's gonna cost. So you have to go to a dealer, and I really get props for uh, Redline Power Sports for really coming through. Um, it's like 100 bucks an hour for them going through it. It's like about four hours, I think, they have to be going through everything. Maybe even more. Um, but yeah, it's, it doesn't look good. Um, the good thing is, is that my insurance got a hold of me really fast once I filed the claim. Um, the thing that sucks is that there's been a couple days with water in the engine, which is not good. It's, we've been moving fast. It's just, it's, it's concerning what's all going to come. They're afraid that maybe a rod broke. That's what they last said. So right now, I, I figured to come by there a little later in the day, right before they're closing, just to get them more time. Didn't want to get anybody's way. Um, and see what's going on but yeah it's it's frustrating right now i can tell you that much that you know who knows what's all happened with that but uh doesn't seem it doesn't seem good holy cow man that car just shot right in front of me good i got both eyes on the on the road um but yeah so i'm in the hellcat give you guys a little taste of the hellcat content i i don't do much with it sorry i got a bunch of receipts i Every time I leave the gym, every time I leave the gym, I go to Taco Bell, and I clean up, but I, I, I must hoard, I must hoard the receipts. I got nothing to hide, so yeah. Uh, Taco Bell's pretty good, actually. I, I like, I, I've never was really addicted to it. I, I like uh, Mexican food, and like, I've been gotten really addicted to uh, Taco Bell. And it's not some endorsement for Taco Bell. I just like, the, I think their food's gonna be good. I get kind of the same thing every time. And, um, yeah, so I'm just jetting there and see what we find out when we get there. I just, I, I have to say, it's just, I'm grateful for Redline coming through with figuring this all out. Cause it's, it doesn't look, it doesn't look promising that the, that the, um, RXPX is gonna ride again. It could probably ride again, but it's gonna probably, it's probably gonna cost so much money that it just, it, it, insurance isn't gonna cover it. So it's, it's upsetting and uh, it's frustrating because of running the tune that Riva sells, you know, basically running their stage two kit. I mean, I was concerned there was prop issues. They claimed that the uh, Solus fixed the prop issue. There was nothing to worry about. And I pay the price now of having my ski completely wrecked. You know, it's a thing that I was, I've been kind of stressing about it because it's like, it's not like a part's broken and a part's really easy to fix. There's so much stuff that's gone wrong. It's like catastrophic that's happened. All right, so here's the prop all broken up. That's what it looks like in there. Then there was engine found or water found in the engine that they can't figure out how it got in there. 
see the fiberglass damage. All right, so back home. Oh man, the crazy thing, it's very hard to find somebody who does fiberglass repair like for boats. Um, there's places that do it. The hard thing is like, you know, when you take apart that ski, it needs to kind of all be apart to when it goes to get that repaired. You know, it's not like somebody comes to somebody to do it. Um, I've messaged actually out like a couple different companies because the biggest thing is with my insurance company, they need estimates on everything. Uh, crazy thing. So like I said in there that the engine has water in it, which sucks. They said they changed the oil twice and it's still milky. And um, I just can't believe by prop breaking how much damage it could cause. I mean, it's not like a little damage. It's like, it's giving me a headache how much it's dealing with. Um, I'm glad they took it apart. You know, the hard thing is, is like, you know, they want to try this and then see what's with that. But the hard thing is like insurance companies, they don't work with like, okay, let's try this and we'll try something else. They want to know like all broken out, what it is, what it's going to total out as. And uh, especially when the dealer charges like a hundred bucks an hour. I mean, it's over $400 just to get it looked over to figure it out. And I called my insurance company to tell them what it was. And they're like, they charged you? They should do it for free. Well, like the problem is like a car, they're so used to like insurance companies. So used to dealing with like a car or like somebody coming to inspect your roof where they just visibly see it and they can figure it out because they can see what it is. Or like a car, you know, they already have like a body shop or a dealership. They got kind of like what a job would cost to do when you come in there and you don't know what all the damage is. You got to pull it all apart. And obviously a place wouldn't do it all for free. That would make absolutely no sense. I totally understand where they're coming from because it's somebody's time to be pulling all apart, figuring it all out. You know, it's hailing up little parts that you wouldn't know if you need or not. And yeah, it's just, it's just a real frustrating process. So I hopefully... What people see in this video, you kind of get in the future of maybe a game plan you have to do if it comes into your situation. I, to be honest, didn't think this would ever happen to me, but you know what? It's just my luck. It did happen. So hopefully I get all figured out. Uh, they're supposed to have the whole estimate from the, deal or the dealer with stuff tomorrow. They said they're going to try calling a fiberglass place. So like I'll have updates tomorrow of what's all going on. Um, uh, just it's, guys, it's super frustrating. I'm really, really frustrated. Good thing is it's been a little cool recently, so it's not like you could ride right now if you wanted to. So it's not like the end of the world, uh, but definitely it's a concerning thing to figure out what it's all gonna come out to. And having uh, water in your engine really sucks. Uh, they said, they, like I said, change it twice. Oil, and it's still like milky. Yeah, this is, this sucks. And uh, hopefully it all gets fixed. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you smash it. I got a monthly giveaway going on. So I'm combining no November, December together. Uh, it's a uh, signed Michael Jordan jersey or the other choice somebody gets to pick is a size large Jet Tribe wetsuit. Uh, it's totally free to enter. The two thing, or the three things you have to do is be subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on the video. Um, and then my goal is by this, uh, the 2020, the first, basically January 1st, hit 10,000 subscribers. And once I hit that, I'll give away, same as how these other giveaways are, I give away a free PlayStation 4 Pro or Xbox One X uh, to a subscriber once I hit up to that. So make sure you share it upon your friends. Also, too, make sure you check out the I Am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. Make sure you give me a follow on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. Check out my Amazon store too, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Holiday season is right around the corner. Special thanks to Jet Drive for donating the wetsuit for the giveaway. Be driven to win. You see, remember too, every day is Earth Day. You see trash on the ground, pick it up. I'm Beowulf, I'm out of here. Peace out, Beowulf Nation.